All right, guys, welcome back to another uh, quick pickups video here um, in the new place. Just want to show you guys some stuff that I picked up over the past uh, month or two. Um, as you can see here, I have an NES again. This is the first time I've had an NES uh, in a really, really long time. So I'm really excited to have one. I picked one up. This was a goal of mine uh, this year to get one because I really wanted to play NES again. And I got one with two controllers. And uh, I can actually hook this up into my Elgato and stream it directly from my Nintendo. So this is going to be so exciting uh, to have this again. I don't have a lot of NES games. I only have seven now, but I have some of the ones I had as a kid. I have played a lot of NES, but I don't own a lot of games, so i got to get more games. I did pick up one game, and it was one that I dreamed of owning because I always played this one as a kid, uh, but never owned it. We just rented it or something, and that's The Little Mermaid. I was able to get a complete inbox copy the little mermaid on nes for a really good deal and uh i couldn't turn this down i got this with the system the guy knocked some money off of it even because he was cleaning the game and the system a bit just to make sure everything was going to work and yeah um so my games have had a little bit of trouble working in here i was testing them out um but you know that's to be expected with the nes and then once i cleaned my games uh they started working so it seems to be in good shape Everything's good. Uh, so this has the manual and everything in there, uh, the dust sleeve and all that. Uh, this game's so fun. I never beat it or anything. I think I only got to like the second level or something when I was a kid, but we used to rent it and I used to play it a lot and just have a good time with it. Really cool game. I'll be streaming this one uh, by Capcom, Little Mermaid. So that's a really, really like uh, dream buy for me, something I really dreamed of owning. Right, I did pick up some other stuff recently, um, including some N64 games for cheap. Uh, just the cart only of these. WCW NWO Revenge. Nice to have a wrestling game on the N64. I used to play No Mercy a lot, so I never played this one before. I picked this one up. Um, excited to have that one. Uh, NHL Breakaway 98. I think I got for two or three bucks. Um, I don't know if I ever played this one, but uh, I did try it out. It's awful, but that's what uh, I was kind of expecting with uh, an old hockey game like this. Uh, this one was not by EA or anything. This was acclaimed sports. So, yeah, they don't do sports games anymore, do they? Um, I don't even know if acclaimed still exists. But, uh, yeah, for a couple bucks, Keith Kachuk there in the front. I love hockey games. So uh, Here's one that I really wanted and uh, I never played. My girlfriend and I were trying it out. The other night to see if it was working and that's a bug's life and it actually didn't seem too bad i don't know we didn't get very far in it so uh, but here's a disney game another disney game bug's life 64 we'll stream this sometime maybe try and beat it uh we'll see that might be pretty hard later on i don't know but we tried a level or two just to, to try it out um here's another pickup that i really wanted to own uh this one i did own as a kid and my brother and i used to play this one but i had always i'd gotten rid of it at some point i don't remember when but i always wanted to get it again got this one at a good price and that's star wars the clone wars for gamecube so this is a nostalgic game for me too um the manual is in there too so it's complete and uh yeah, another good one for the gamecube four players I said my brother and I, one of my brothers and I used to play this one a lot when we bought it back in the day. A really fun Star Wars game for the GameCube. And last, <laughs> maybe least, um, I heard this game's awful, but I still wanted to buy it and try it out. Uh, it wasn't expensive. I found it at like this convention uh, place or whatever um, you want to call it. It's not really a convention, but so um it's it's uh frank and sons is the place i did done a video on this place before it's kind of like a convention but they're open weekly and they have all sorts of vendors there actually post malone was there at the convention uh, at, the, at the place frank and sons when i was there he was actually there my girlfriend saw him and there was a crowd around him she took pictures and videos of him i didn't see him i was looking around for games and stuff so i was like all right you can go find post malone uh but it was pretty cool he was there anyways um Rascal is the game I picked up. I'm off topic here. Uh, PlayStation 1 Rascal. I know I heard this game is supposed to be awful. 3D platformer, but it can't be that bad, right? It can't be like Catwoman level bad. Um, but I wanted to try it. It looks colorful. Could be kind of fun. Level design looks decent. I watched the Nitro Rad video on it. Even he didn't completely hate it. Um, so I, I know why not try it out for PlayStation. I don't have a lot for PlayStation, so I wanted to get more. 
But yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching this uh, latest pickups video. Not too much to show off right now. I haven't been getting a lot of stuff since the move and everything. Um, but picked up, you know, getting the NES was just a huge, huge uh, win for me. Excited to play this and bring it to the channel and bring some more nostalgia to everybody. Till next time, zero is the number. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.